Acts chapter 3 and verse 19 says, Repent then, turn to God, so that your sins may be wiped out, that times of refreshing may come from God. How many of you need some refreshing in your life? How many think our country needs some refreshing? How many of you think that your marriage needs refreshing? Yes, we need that. We need that. How do we get that? He says, repent and turn to God. That's how you get that. So if you want healing and refreshment in your life, you need to repent and turn to God. Then, he says, your sins will be wiped out. Do you see that? In fact, you might want to circle that phrase. Your sins will be wiped out. I want to illustrate that for you. I brought a whiteboard with me today. And also I brought a permanent marker. Now you know that you should never use a permanent marker with a whiteboard, right? But this is what... The whiteboard represents our heart. And inside our heart, we have this. What is that? Sin. That's called sin. And every one of us has sin in our life. And the problem is, is that when you've got sin in your life, a lot of times we try to get rid of it on our own. So what do we do? We try to act a little bit better. We try to have better morals. We try to go to church. You know, we might get, open up our Bible. We hang around some other Christians. And the problem is, is that's not the way you get rid of sin. You see, you can't just wipe sin away that way. You see that? You can't get rid of the sin in your life doing that. It just doesn't work. I can erase and erase and erase, and the sin's not going to go away. So how do I get rid of sin? I need Jesus in my life. And so today I brought me another marker. It's a red marker. And that's kind of like for the blood of Jesus. Why did Jesus die on the cross? He died to shed his blood to cover our sins. Amen? And so I'm just going to cover up our sin with the blood of Jesus. So you can't see the sin anymore. All you can see is just the blood of Jesus Christ. The Bible says in the book of Hebrews that without the shedding of blood, there can be no forgiveness of sins. You see that? If you've accepted Jesus Christ as your personal Savior, the blood of Jesus Christ, the Bible says, it covers your sin. And the Bible says that when the blood of Jesus Christ is covering your sin, when Jesus Christ is your personal Savior, that God then can come in and wipe away all your sins. He can take all your sins away because of his blood, because that's what he did. He died on the cross for us. It says in the book of 1 Peter chapter 2, Christ carried the burden of our sins. He was nailed to the cross so that we would stop sinning and start living right. By his cuts and bruises, you are what? Healed. Circle that phrase. You are healed. What in your life needs to be healed right now? Do you need a relational healing? A spiritual healing? A physical healing? Do you need a mental healing? An emotional healing? Listen, whatever it is, listen to this. Jesus Christ can heal it. He can wipe it out, just like I did that word sin.